What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more Kuroko no Basket. Today we are doing the finale of season two, episodes 49 and 50. Now, before we get into anything, some of you guys are aware, some of you aren't. With the first and last episode of every season of every show on the channel, we do the full length version, which is normally a Patreon exclusive, is available for free for everyone. So click the link in the top of the description, enjoy that free full length, come back here for the review when you're done, and then like consider checking out that Patreon if you guys want to keep that for the rest of the show. But we're wrapping this up. I'm assuming this has to be the end of this match. We're in the final quarter. Uh, Kiyoshi is out. Kuroko is in. Kiyoshi needs a favor. What's going to happen? I have no idea. I don't have any Kuroko merch. I've been looking. I have like a very select few. Not select. There's a good amount. But pe people that I, small anime businesses that I support. I'm waiting for someone to have a Kuroko no basket drop. And I'll absolutely scoop it up. One of them had a slam dunk drop. So I had to scoop it up. But at least I'm in the basketball theme, you know. I am very excited about this. Hopefully you guys are as well. If you are, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Your guys' support on this series has been immaculate. The passion you guys have for this is rubbing off on me so much. Um, I don't even know what else to say. I can't waste any more time. Let's hop right on into these two episodes. The first one is called Enough. Okay. Okay. Episode 49. Enough. The last one minute. So they wanna I know he almost like fainted. He was he was his body was done. She knows. She knows. She's gonna work some Mr. Miyagi karate kid magic. Get this man ready. Behind the back dunk. This man is something else. Hey, Kagami's trying though. He's working his hardest. I have faith in him. This cannot be happening right now. When everyone's starting to slow down, Himuro's going even faster. Ooh! The quick call out by his teammate saved him right there. Kuroko was about to snag that boy up. Oh. The way he's like elegantly gliding. He does think he can stop everyone by himself, but I don't think it's conceitedness either. You know, it's confidence in himself. He doesn't like underestimate you guys. He thinks you're amazing, but. Really? Wow. I mean, I thought he genuinely passed her right there. He's just so elegant. Everything he does is so top notch. He just fall for it. I see. And he just didn't fake him out this time. That's a pretty good play. Even if you know, he can always just release it if you delay your block. Wow. I mean, I gotta give him props. So, I'm assuming they're gonna win, but if we win, we're going against Kisei's team. That should be a crazy game. Yosin's starting to trail ahead. This is not good. We're down nine again. I know. It's literally like what uh, their coach said. Having uh, just Morisaki Bar as their ace would be enough, but having him and Himuro is just so broken. Why is that, Mr. Almine? Would you like to enlighten us, sir? Yes, what do you mean? That was such a crazy moment. Naturally, oh my god. I get what he's saying by idle and focused thoughts. Yeah, you can't try to enter the zone. It just happens. If you're thinking about entering the zone, your mind isn't free enough to naturally enter the zone. Tell him, Kisei. Get our energy back up. Come on. This is the tough love we need. Let's get this man back in the game. 
紫バラッチとやることになりそうっすねこんなんだったら練習試合の時の誰かさんの方がよっぽど怖かったっすよ Wowzers, wowzers, this is the tough love he needs. It was natural, but is that the line of thinking you needed to be in? Okay, no matter what he has to sacrifice, how much pain it costs. Oh, this is Kiyoshi and Rico. He's doing her Mr. Miyagi magic. I'm not a huge shipper when it comes to shows, but I want them to be together and have like 75 kids. It wouldn't be athletically amazing, but they'd be the nicest, most amazing people out there. Aww, look at that. Okay. Different mindset. Oh, yeah, it's a great thing. <laughs> what are we talking about specifically? He's him. That's just the thing people say nowadays. I'm him. They're still scoring points. Are we talking about Aomine specifically, or who are we talking about? Kagami's going to do something crazy right here. Like him. That's who I was thinking about. Is it specifically Aomine? Or he's him. He's just him. The man, the two-hand stopper on Murasaki Bar who already had the advantage in this. Look at this dude. Counterattack of our counterattack. Come on. And that's why it's Kuroko's job to support that light from the <laughs> Aomine is like, oh, it's over. GG's. When they animate their eyes like that, oh, it's so amazing. Oh my god, that shit was crisp. Look at this boy, Kagami. He's still in the air. Oh, yeah, he's flying right there with you. Oh my god, look at that background. Get out of here. He slapped that bitch out of here. He said, get that shit out of here. Ooh. Wet from the three. Doesn't even need to confirm that. That's going in. He's like, you know you're ice cold. Ice cold in the veins when you're turning around, not even confirming. <laughs> Who is he, Miorima? That's funny. Thor's hammer. Over here using Mjolnir itself. Ka ga me. Bakana! They're playing the opening? Are you serious? Jesus. Mary and Joseph. Look at this man. Murasaki Bara's going down. First time we've ever seen him this close to the ground before. Don't say that, because if you foreshadow Murasaki Bara or Himuro entering the zone, I'm going to be upset. Murasaki Bara doesn't have that. Wow, I love that. That's a minimum requirement. And we know Aomine and Kagami have that more than anyone, you know? That is the one thing Murasaki Bara does not have at all. Yeah, he's held back by other mental stopping. Oh! My god, this man is the fucking Flash! From the free throw line? <laughs> this is his first time seeing the zone in person. Look at this. Air walking. Fucking Luke Skywalker looking ass. Oh, that looks sick. That was so sick. Him falling down, you know, everyone's reactions. Oh, my God. Kuroko no motherfucking basket. I was so focused on him in the zone right there. I didn't even look at the score. What is the score right now? 
Murasaki Bar has had enough. If he can't personally do it, he's, he knows no one else in the squad can do it, and he's had enough. But Himuro is pissed off about that. Coming from Almine, that's hilarious. Wow. He's good. He's very close to the generation of miracles, just like Alex was saying. But he's just not one of the chosen few. That's an interesting concept. I didn't I didn't I didn't think there was gonna be like that concept of it being a chosen, you know, select prodigy, which there are always prodigies. I would have to say the the chosen one, uh, like the Kagami of uh, Haikyuu is uh, Kageyama, for sure. But it's interesting to me. It's sort of similar like Rock Lee, who's the absolute pinnacle of what the of what the natural, of the born unlucky can be. You know, the absolute peak of what human just by itself can be. Versus someone like Naruto or Sasuke, who are one of the chosen ones, who have been given this power that's just, that's just unattainable. It's just not even fair to even try to reach it. Similar to Endeavor and All Might. I'm just making so many references right now. I just always think of it. I love how shows do the, the, the thread they weave. But how no one could even come close to coming to All Might. Like Endeavor, like, I don't know. There's this chosen... Yeah, it's interesting. Shouts out Almine. It's obvious that why Himuro would get frustrated. You know, you have what I want. Why are you... If you only you cared about it like I did, it would be a... You know? I get it. I completely understand his frustration. Now, Murasaki Bara was convinced to at least play till the end, but he does not give a fuck what anyone thinks. His hair tied back, he kind of looks badass though. I can't lie, Murasaki Bara looks kind of fucking gangster. I can't lie. Alright, on to episode 50. So, he doesn't necessarily like basketball, but he hates losing more than anything. So, if, it if that's what makes him do work, then but Kuroko also hates losing more than anything. So, I love, I love that shit, you know? Let's get into some crazy games of basketball. That Mirage, his fakes are so clean. He admits, you're amazing, Taiga. I lost our battle. But as a team, we're still gonna win. Oh, And he knows once Kaiga's, uh, Kagami's focused, distracted, Murasaki Bar has an easy bucket. Maybe I am an idiot. I am an idiot. And then the double fake out. This man Kagami's jumping seven times before they actually shoot it. God damn it. You know Kagami's making an impression if they're forcing Murasaki Bar to be a team player, you know? Even Kuroko shocked. Hell yeah. Point guard Kagami. Ooh, ooh. Talk about a combination unlike we've ever seen. Right? <laughs> that is ironic. Completely opposite how we started. A defensive trump card. Miss shots. Oh, he's a that's a valid observation. Thank you. I would love to have Almine on like the analyst desk, you know, VSPN. I'd watch basketball. I'd watch the NBA if that were the case. Oh, okay, good pass. Oh, 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 oh. Member change. The iron heart for the last minute. We need this boy. Everyone is so smiles. Everyone is so happy to have him back. So am I. 
This dude is the blood and soul of this team. Resilience. He's got a heart made full metal. As my boy Edward Elric would say, you know? Come on. Hells, yeah. Alright, Mitsube. I, I loved you on the squad, my band, but my man, but Kiyoshi's backing at him. The moment of truth. Oh, look at this shot. We're going back. Come on, everyone's getting into this. With the music playing right now? Come on. The Iron Vice Gripper. Oh. oh, we know Junpei's making this. Come on. We up. 20 seconds remaining. We're one point behind. Oh my good. With the music playing? Come on. How? How, Sway? How, Sway? Is this man Mursakibara in the zone for the last 20 seconds? Oh my god. He chucked that. Oh! The fakes. I love how they animate that when he does how powerful those jumps are. But then you got my man just eclipsing him. Come on. That monster. Uh oh. Looks like our zone is fading out. This power. That's our iron heart, isn't it? That's the support. That's the support from our boy right there. I'm fucking sweating us how amazing this match is. Look at this. Murasaki Bara versus Kiyoshi and Kagami. And we broke through. Oh my god. With the music in the background? Come on. Counter attack. Look at this dude, bro. Look at him. They're like, how? How, Sway? He's in the zone. No. He's not just nearing his limit in the zone. He's nearing his physical limit. The zone itself is exhausting. Go beyond plus ultra surpass your limits type beats. What, Alex? What is he trying to pull off? He's going to slam it. The falling star dunk. He just slams it in for like... The falling star dunk. Pretty much you get as high as you can and you chuck that bitch like a fastball right through the net. <laughs> Look at how many smile. Everyone's either smiling or just completely shook. What do you mean? There's still time left? No, I celebrated too early. He reached his limit as well. He physically cannot jump. You know it's a crazy block if Kuroko's the one ending it. If Kuroko's the one saving the day, blocking Murasaki Bahara. Come on, look at everyone's face. Look at everyone's faces. Oh my god. Oh my god, we win, guys. Oh my god. No, he doesn't. I can't take anything away from Yosin and their match. There was rivalries between multiple people on this court, but they worked their ass off. They're a fantastic team. There's no way. I would not be surprised. I hope not. Oh, hell yeah. I mean, to enter the zone, to give it, to keep working as hard as you are, you have to like it a little bit, even though he says he doesn't. He's like crying under there, or he's upset. I can only, I can only respect that frustration. He's upset.
<laughs> Damn. <laughs> Man's bringing me to tears, Murasaki Bar. Come on. You're just getting started, motherfucker. He never. He hates this so much. God damn. Even a coach was tearing up. Ah. So cathartic feeling. And who are they going against? Kaijo versus who? Semi finals are next. Uh. Midorima. Ooh, Akashi, that boy Levi, what'd you think of that game? I'll see you next game, Kisei. <laughs> Look at that fucking face. Crazy, Almine and Murasaki Bara are out, but we still got three more to go. Midorima, Akashi, and Kisei. I could really watch this show until they make it to the NBA. I could watch, like, this could be... Basketball just in general and I'd watch it, you know. Look at them. They don't show any of their players. Look at them. Oh, number two, Rico's dad. Oh. For a season finale, this is so good. I love this. Ooh. What was that? Does he have fucking braids in his hair? Who was that? Yeah. That obviously did not end the way we would want it to. We obviously Kagami still wants to be bros. You know Kuroko kept that ring, though. That necklace. What are you two idiots? Come on. You know he kept that. You can't get rid of something like that. It's so valuable to you, man. Right? Let's look at Naruto. We'll say look at Black Clover. A little less toxic than Naruto. Perfect brother slash rivals. There you go. It can work out for sure. Shouts out my boy Kuroko. Goated mans, W mans. Well, even though we have another season and I believe a movie after all this is said and done, I just want to thank you guys for watching this their journey with me because I know through the comments and what you guys say and you guys got the Kuroko profile pictures, all that. I know you guys are huge fans of the show. The passion you guys have is immaculate and it, I can only feel it rubbing off on me. Like I was just giddy smiling on the verge of tearing up throughout this entire episode just how far we've come as a squad kiyoshi's passion his love for his team junpei you know everyone and there's so many different threads so many different characters like i love almine's relationship with kuroko i love himuro's relationship with kagami um murasaki bar's relationship with the game of basketball it's like you know it goes deep and i love it and kisei is like a, a pivotal member in it all i can't wait to face him in the semifinals. and then from there i'm assuming it's gonna be you know after we beat them we gotta go into the finals with i'm assuming it's gonna be against raku's raku's yon and akashi the only thing oh my god it's gonna be incredible 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 25 more episodes left in a movie 26 i think because i think there's one more bonus episode 0.5 I just, I don't know. Kagami entering the zone. Murasaki Bara entering the zone. Kuroko going ham. Himuru with the fucking mirages and the fakes. Kiyoshi coming back the last minute. Everything ended perfectly. It was beautiful. It was very, very cathartic, like I said. Like, it's kind of like you finally beat a game you've been trying to beat for so long. And you just feel so accomplished. You feel like... You can sit back and finally take a breather. You know, that's how I feel right now. Like, I feel like, ugh. Even though we have so much more of the tournament to go, so many more matches to win, I feel like finally you can just take a breather. And I felt the same way with Almine as well. So I cannot, I can only imagine how I'm going to feel when we, wink, wink, hopefully win this whole thing. You know, the winter fucking cup. That'd be insane. That'd be immaculate. I don't know. I don't know what other adjectives I can use. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Check out that Patreon for the full uncuts. All that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the free full length. I don't know. Uh, yee, it was amazing. Amazing episodes. Um, don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day after squad. Peace out. <laughs>